I was speech, I was uh, on a uh, video conference with uh, our European partners with respect to Ukraine. I did have a chance to take a look at the transcript. Uh, and uh, as far as I can tell, uh, there was nothing new. Uh, the Prime Minister, I think, appropriately pointed out uh, that the bond between the United States and America uh, is unbreakable, uh, and on that point, I thoroughly agree. Uh, he also pointed out that Iran has been a dangerous regime and continues to engage in uh, activities that are contrary to the interests of the United States, uh, to Israel, and to the region. Uh, and on that, we agree. Uh, he also pointed out the, uh, the fact that Iran has repeatedly threatened Israel uh, and engaged in uh, the most venomous of anti-Semitic uh, statements. Uh, and uh, no one can dispute that. Uh, but on the core issue, which is how do we prevent Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon, which would make it far more dangerous and would give it scope for even greater action in the region. Uh, the Prime Minister didn't offer any viable alternatives. Uh, so let's be clear about what exactly uh, the central concern should be, both for the United States and for Israel. Uh, I've said since before I became president that one of my primary goals uh, in foreign policy would be preventing Iran from getting a nuclear weapon. Uh, and with the help of Congress and our international partners, we constructed an extraordinarily effective sanctions regime that pressured Iran to come to the, naval, uh, to, to the table to negotiate in a serious fashion. They have now been negotiating over the last year, and during that period, Iran has, in fact, frozen its program, rolled back some of its uh, most dangerous, highly enriched uranium, and subjected itself to the kinds of verifications and inspections that we had not previously.